Well, good morning. This is our first Saturday morning Facebook Live uh, class. So most of you kids that are watching this now, this is the time you'll be doing your regular class. So one of our dojos, or maybe one of the dojos across the country, but this is the time, so it's a, a, a good time to get up, get in your horse stance, get ready to follow along with us. A lot of the things we're doing today are most of the things we've been doing in a regular class. We're not gonna be doing our freestyle or our grappling or any of our techniques. But in terms of all the basics and the drills and the combinations and whatnot, we'll be doing all those, plus some exercises. So we've been doing a lot of videos in the last week and a half, and a couple of the videos we've done were by my son Johnny, one of my sons, and he did some exercises that you guys should be doing every day. We're going to go through some of those again, so you see one more time, but now in a class setting. And then, of course, a lot of basics and some of the combinations. So whether you're a, a four-year-old white belt, or whether you're you know, a teenager uh, of any rank, uh, even the adults who train with us, this is stuff you all need to do and, and work on and make better. Even when I teach our advanced classes, right, I might have 30 guys in the class, many of them have been with me over 30 years. They're still doing the basics. They're still doing these basics you'll see these kids do today. Every time we do our class, we start with these basics and then we move on to our more advanced things. So follow along with us. And uh, today we have Danica, Kate, Emmy, and my son Vincent. So we have four people here with us, some of my brown belts. But follow along the best you can. Show me head stance, hand horse stance, left hand over right hand. Then you float, and bow. And down to horse stance. All right, good. And deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Then inhaling, and exhaling, and inhale deep, and kia, and inhale, and kia, nice, and rotate your arms going forward, big circles, again, your kids at home, your students at home, of all ages, do the same thing they're doing, I'll be talking throughout the class like I normally would in any class that we teach, opposite direction, when you're doing this, maintain those good horse stances. Maintain your good horse stances. Always working on good form. Always, always. And opposite direction. Very nice, very nice. Good. And lunge over to your left. Your nice deep forward bow. Lunge over to the left. Legs stay straight. Heel on the ground. And opposite direction. All the way over, all the way over, all the way over. One more time to your left. Now reach forward with your right hand, behind you with your left hand. Good. And opposite direction. Reach, reach, reach. To the center. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Right leg back, left hand up. Very nice. Good. Now remember, leg straight as you raise it up. And count with me. And one. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Could have his arm, his hands far apart, 
but we're not doing those right now. We'll do those at the end of class. He's having his hands close together, works a different part of your chest muscle. He goes down and comes up, and goes down and comes up. So everyone, let's do that together. And we're gonna do five. So down and up, and down and up, and down and up, and down and up. Good, and now, go back and in a kneeling position. Kind of rest it a little bit, rest it a little bit. Good, so we're gonna come back and do five more. Now again, you can do five at a time, 10 at a time, 20 at a time, but we'll do just five for today. And push up position again, we'll do three sets of them. And if any of you uh, have difficulties at home doing these push ups, just put your knees on the mat. Watch Danica, Danica, knees on the mat. Now she does the same push up, mm -hmm. your knees just on the mat. Okay? So she'll do her five like that. The rest of you guys do the regular ones. And one, that's it. And two, strong. Three, four, good. And five, good. And back to position, kneeling down, kneeling down. Kneeling down. Kind of resting up, resting up. Your arms are still kind of getting warmed up. Rub your arm a little bit. Work your chest. Good. And let's do our last set of five. So we're in push-up position. Ready? And this time, Kate, you show your knees down in that position. Yeah, a little back, a little more with your knees. Yeah, ready? And one. Good. Try to have your elbows in. Two. I know. Three. And four. And five, good. And now coming back up. Let's go to kneeling position, yeah? Good, now, let's get your belts tied up nice and tight. So nothing comes off today. And now let's go on your back, right from there. And now we're gonna do sit-ups. Now, you probably might have someone at home to hold your feet down. Uh, if you don't, then that, that's, that's, you're gonna work that this way. But at home, if you have a mom or a dad or a brother or a sister or your, your dog, maybe your dog will put his paw right here on your feet, but somebody or something to put your foot, their foot there. So Danica is going to put her hands either in a fighting position or crossed or whatever she wants. You can put it right back here. She comes up with her sit up and then comes back. She comes up with her sit up and comes back. All right? If she's having a difficult time, if you guys have a hard time doing that, put your arms straight and swing your arms and do it. She swings and comes back and swings and comes back. Good. Let's do five of these. Ready, everybody? Either hands over your head or hands across your chest or fist next to your ears. Whatever position you want. And one, we're up. And two, all the way up. And three, all the way up. And four, swing your arms if you want to. And five, good. And lay down. Ready? Stay there, stay there, stay there. Now, my son Johnny was also doing leg raises. Um, let's just see what those look like. Put your hands underneath the back of your legs. Mm -hmm. And now, raise your legs up in a straight position. Raise them up. And back down and up. And back down. Try to keep your legs straight. And up. And back down and up. And back down and rest. Good. Sit up position again. Legs bent. Hands where you want them to be, maybe straight, maybe not. Sit up, let's do five and one. Mm -hmm. And two, uh huh. And three, good. And four, that's it. And five, good. Lay down, legs straight, hands underneath the back of your legs or your butt. And one, we're up and down. And two, up and down. And three, up and down. And four, up and down. And five, up and down. Rest for a moment. And the third set, our last set, this is the third set. We're gonna do sit-ups again. So sometimes these are called supersets. You do one set right, right away with the other one. So let's do your sit-up one more time, another set of five, and one, mm-hmm, and two, that's it, and three, good, and four, that's it, and five, good, and we're down, legs are straight, hands underneath our legs or butt, and one, that's it, legs are straight now. And two, that's it, and three, good. And four, that's it, and five, excellent. And bring all the way back up. All right. So those three sets of exercises, those three sets of exercises are something you should be doing twice a day. So do them in the morning, do them in the evening, or do them in the, whenever you want to do them, but do them twice, do them twice. And every time you start increasing your reps, 
increasing your supersets, doing more and more, all right, get stronger and stronger. And again, we're not just getting stronger for our tempo, we're getting stronger for anything you want to do in life. Any other sports, even if you don't do sports. All right, we always talk about the tiger and the dragon. All right, strength of the mind, dragon, strength of the body, tiger. So this is a way to keep that tiger strong, keep your body strong and fit. Okay? And show me a head stance. Right. So we're going to go through the five basic stances. We did this a little bit earlier this week. So there are many, many stances in Kempo, but there are, are five main ones. And let's start with those. So once again, from this position, show me a tense stance. Just slap it in. Or slap those hands on the side. Show me horse stance. Feet apart, heels out, knees out. So that's the rule when you're doing your horse stance or your neutral bow. To make it better, always to improve on it, push your heels out, push your knees out. From that position, show us a left neutral bow. So everyone's on the left neutral bow. The left foot is in front. You're in a position of neutrality. That means your weight distribution is 50-50. You have the same percentage of weight on your front foot as you do your back foot. So 50-50. And that is a left neutral bow. Switch. This is your right neutral bow. This is the number three stance, neutral bow. You had a tensor stance, horse stance, and now neutral bows. From here, let's pivot to a forward bow. Strong out to a forward bow. So now the weight distribution is 60-40. 60% of your weight is on your front foot, and 40% is on your back foot. Back leg is straight, your heel is on the ground. Your back itself is straight. Body is straight but down, spine is erect. Front foot is still at an angle. So it's called a forward bow because everything turned forward except that front foot. That means front foot is still on a 45 as it should be. That's a forward bow. Back to neutral bow, shoot your weight back so your weight distribution is 50 50. Heel stay pushed out, hands are up. Again, forward bow. Neutral bow, and now pull your front foot back to a cat stance. So now, looking at their feet, the front foot has 10% of the weight, the back foot has 90, 10, 90. This stance, your front foot, your hips, and your shoulders are all pointing straight ahead. The only thing that's still on a 45 is your back foot. If your back foot's on a 45, front foot, hips, and shoulders are all facing the opponent straight ahead. And back to a neutral bow, and switch, pull back to a cat stance, perfect cat stance, strong, bend that back knee, back to a zone of 45, you don't have any further than a 45, you don't want your back to run a 90, you want to run a 45. Make sure those hips are pointing straight ahead. And back to a neutral bow, and switch, forward bow, neutral bow, forward bow, Neutral bow, cat stance, neutral bow, switch, forward bow, neutral bow, cat stance, neutral bow, cat stance, neutral bow, forward bow, neutral bow, tension stance, and horse stance. Nice. Good, deep breath in hand. And exhale. You guys do it at home. Do the breathing with them as well. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deep. And kia. Yeah. One more time. Inhale deep. And kia. Yeah. Good. When you kia, you're taking your fist, hitting yourself in the stomach, the major stomach muscles like rock. And time it so right when you hit, you kia. Same time. Inhale and kia. Yeah. All right, good. Now let's look at your basic foot maneuvers. So these give your stances mobility. That's how you move around. Show us a left neutral bow. Good. Everyone's in a good, strong left neutral bow. Heels are pushed out. Knees are pushed out. Good. And let's do a, a hop switch. So there's lots of different ways you can switch. The first one is called a hop switch, which is the same thing as a jump switch. So hop switch, hop switch, hop switch, hop switch, hop switch. 
Good. And now we're going to do a cover. Now this is a maneuver that is designed if you're turning to face an assailant or an opponent or a bad guy or any danger behind you, any threat behind you. You don't just want to turn right into it, so you have to step over with your front foot. So if you watch Danica, she takes her front foot and she's going to step in the direction her toes are pointing. So what direction does she step? She steps in the direction her toes are pointing. How far does she step? She steps as far as her foot is long. And then she simply turns and looks behind her and does her back number. Okay? So keep an eye on her again. From here, she's just going to jump up and switch. But now she's getting ready to cover. So again, when you're at home, you're thinking, wait, which foot? It's always the front foot. Which direction does it step? The same direction the toes are pointing already. How far is the step? As far as your foot is long. So she steps over and simply turns and does a back knuckle as she does it. And switch to Anika. Now everybody, listen. I'm going to be saying switch or cover. So listen to what I'm saying. Heels out, knees out, guard up, back straight. Jump up and switch. Jump up and switch. Jump up and switch. And listen. Take your front foot, step over, turn the back of it. Stay, keep looking that direction, jump up and switch, jump up and switch, jump up and switch. We're getting ready to cover, so take your front foot, step over, turn the back of it. Jump up and switch, and now I'm just going to say cover, and cover. And do it quick now, jump up and switch. Cover. When you cover, cover quicker. Jump up and switch. Cover. Jump up and switch. Cover. Ten stands. Good. Now let's see a left neutral bow. Good. And Vince and Dan go back up just a little bit. Good. From there, I want to see a step through. A step through. It is just all of our, our foot maneuvers in Kempo. They are what they sound like. A step through is, that's what it is, a step through. When I first started martial arts, I started a Japanese system and then went to a Chinese system. And in those systems, you had to learn the names of all these things in that language. So you had to learn a little Japanese and a little Chinese and it got very confusing. Here it's much easier. I was very happy to get to Kempo and everything was in English. So I much appreciated that. So on a step through, your feet simply step right next to each other on your way to the next stance. So her back foot passes right next to her front foot and then lands. And she does the same thing going in reverse. So it's important to have your feet pass right next to each other as you're doing this. Everybody, guard up, stay low, heels out, knees out. Step through forward. Step through forward. Step through reverse. Step through reverse. Step through reverse. Step through reverse. Step through forward. I know, I know. Listen now. Step through reverse. Step through reverse. So the number one principle in Kempo is environmental awareness. Be aware of what's going on around you. So I'm part of what's going on around you, so they have to keep their eyes open as Kempo students. Be watching what's going on, but also be listening to what's going on. Ready? Step through forward. Switch. Step through forward. Get ready. Cover. Step through forward. Step through forward. Listen. Step through reverse. Step through reverse. Switch. 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 Stay focused. Cover. Good. Let's move on to the next foot maneuver. The next foot maneuver is a drag step, and it's just what it sounds like. Danica will drag her back foot up to her front foot, and then step with her front foot. She can do the same thing going in reverse. She drags her front foot to her back foot, step to her back foot. And now everybody, heels out, knees out, good strong stance. Drag step forward. Drag step forward. And now we're going to go in reverse. Drag step reverse. Drag step reverse. Drag step reverse. Drag step forward. Oh. And switch. And switch. Listen. Look straight ahead. Drag step forward. Switch. Get ready. Cover. Drag step forward. 
perfect stances, always perfect stances. Drag step forward, cover. Drag step forward, all right. And now, step, drag. Watch Danica, she's gonna step with her front foot and then drag with her back foot. And however far she stepped, she has to then drag. She'll, she'll do it one more time, she'll step, drag, boom, boom. And then she do the same thing going in reverse. She steps, drag, and step, drag. Everybody, guard up. Step just with the front foot. And now drag just with the back foot. So we do it slow at first. Step with the front foot, drag the back foot. Step, drag. Get ready, cover. And step, drag. Step, drag. Step, drag. Step, drag, jump up and switch, step, drag, step, drag, cover, step, drag, step, drag, switch, step, drag, and step, drag. Good. So, let's go to uh, horse stance. And left with your bow. And cover. Good. So let's review those five real quick. Switch. 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 So that's your first one. Switch. Cover. Cover. Switch. So those are your switches and covers. And now step through. Step through. Step through. Cover. Step through. And now. Let's do your drag step. Drag step. Drag step. Cover. Drag step. Guard up. Drag step. Drag step. Cover. And now let's do your step drag. Step drag. Step drag. Step drag. Switch. Step drag. Good. And touch stance, horse stance. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And inhale, and exhale, and inhale, here. Yeah. Nice. Good. So now let's move on to strikes. Let's move on to strikes. So from your good, strong horse stance, hands back to chamber position. Stay low, strong. And let's see. Starting off your horizontal punch, the height of your solar plexus. Bring your right hand straight out, turn it, and strike to the height of your solar plexus. So it's going on a slight downward trajectory. As the right comes back, your left hand goes out. So you're doing simultaneous strikes. You're punching to the front and elbow striking behind. And right, left, right, left. Make sure that fist is closed all the way to make a proper weapon. We shouldn't see any fingernails. Wrist is straight. And right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good. And hands to your side. In the old days, when I started teaching, we would always say, have that flat so you lay a book flat across your wrist. Lay a book. Of course, these days, kids don't know what a book is. So, I can't say what I say. Lay a laptop or an iPad or something like, something like that. Something flat across. It has to be flat. It has to be flat. It cannot be up. It cannot be down. Flat. And hand to your side. Right. And left. Heels out, knees out. Heels out, knees out. Make these hand stances perfect. And one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. Now let's do your straight thrusting heel palms. Hand in chamber position. Bring it in like you're doing an uppercut punch, but then turn it and hit with the heel of your palm. So this whole thing is your palm, but this bottom part is the heel of your palm. Turn it sideways, guys. Remember, your fingers are not straight, they're slightly bent. These top knuckles and middle knuckles here are the ones that are slightly bent, and everything is. The strength and unity is to keep your fingers united. Do not have them apart right now. Have them together. Hands to your side. One more time with the right hand. Straight out, turn. And then as this one comes back, straight out, turn. Hitting to the jaw, to the point of the jaw. Hand right. And left. And right. And left. And right. And left. And right. And left. And one, two. And one, two. And one, two. And one, two. And everyone watching uh, on your computers, again, stay with us. Do exactly what we're doing, when we're doing it.
two, one, two, one, two. Good. Now let's move on to hand swords. Hand back to his chamber position. Bring your right hand up and strike in. So hitting with the side of the hand now, the blade of the hand. One more time, hands to your side. So making your hand like a sword, hand sword. Bring your hand up, strike. Aiming for the side of the neck with a bad guy standing in front of you. Left hand comes up, strike. Right hand comes up, strike. Left hand comes up, strike. And back to position. Outward hand swords. Stay low, stay low, stay low. Right hand comes across. Palm up like mine. Straight up. Elbow lower than wrist. Gives you more power. Left hand comes across. Strike. Right hand comes across. Strike. Left hand comes across. Strike. And right. Left. Elbow lower than the wrist, guys. I don't want it like this. We want it like that. And right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Good. Let's move on to elbow strikes. Hand to your side. Inward horizontal elbow strikes. Straight across. Again, your arms coming across in a horizontal pattern. And now left and rotate your hips a little bit as you do it. Stay and maintain a good horse stance. And right, boom. And left, strong. And right, and left. Hand to your side. Upward vertical elbow strikes. Straight up like you're doing an upper gut punch, but then turn it this way and elbow. So your elbow tries to move as high as the top of your head. And left hand straight up, boom. Right hand straight up, boom. Slide rotation at the end. Stay low on that horse stance. Left hand straight up. Right hand straight up. Left hand straight up. And hand back to your side. Okay? So we need your punches. Everyone, right punch. Left punch. Right punch. Left punch. We need your heel palms and right. And left. And right. And left. And. We need your hand swords and right. And left. And right. And left, and right, and left. We did your outer hand swords, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left. Good. We did your elbows, inward horizontal elbows, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left. Good. Upward vertical elbows and right and left and right and left and right and left and right and left. Good. Deep breath. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Good. And now let's look at your blocks. So this is your chamber position and the blocks, it's easy to remember. You just follow the same pattern of our star block. Trying to remember what blocks there are and everything. There's five basic blocks. Lots more than that, but there's five basic blocks. But start with the ones you have in the star block. So from here, straight up in a vertical position, turn. That's called an upward block. And then come right back down with an elbow. Just reverse your motion all the way back to the side. Left hand comes straight up, turn, and straight back down, back to your side. Right hand straight up and turn, and down. And left hand up and turn, and down. Right hand up and turn, and down. Left hand up and turn, and down. Good. And now, the second block you would have in the star block would be inward blocks. So now just bring your right hand up, much like you had your hand sword with the hand open, but now you had the fist closed, and block straight across. Remember, keep that fist solid. Keep the knuckles as high as your eyes, and make sure that if the person is coming from this direction, boom, you're <laughs> hammering straight to your dad, in this case, but on this direction, in this direction. So you don't want to be blocking over there to the side, you don't want to be blocking that way, you don't want to have your palm turn this way, have your palm turn that way. You are striking this direction. Now left hand comes up. Strike in this direction, away from you on a 45 degree angle. Not on the 90, not straight ahead, 
Not fist turned that way, not fist turned that way. Exactly this way, so this bone is what's striking. And right hand, and left hand, and right hand, and left hand. Good. And now the third block you have is the same one you have in star block. So hands to your side. We take our right hand and cross. These are called extended outward blocks. We're going to come past through the vertical position, but extend in that direction. And this ends up being exactly on the same angle. Right hand is up. See how Vince's hand is on this 45 degree angle? It's exactly the way it should be. So if you're striking, it's this part that's striking here. This is where she's striking, right here. And it's not turned this way, it's not turned that way, it's this way. So that bone is what's doing the strike. And left hand come across your body and strike. And right hand come across your body and strike. Left hand come across your body and strike. And now, hands to the side. And now your downward block. Because this will be the next block in star block. So it's easy to remember. Right hand comes across, just like you were doing your outward block, but drop down. Left hand comes across and block down. Right hand comes across and block down. Left hand comes across and blocks down. And right? Yes. And left? And right? And left, and right, and left, and right, and left. Excellent. And now, let's do our vertical outward block. So from this position, bring it over, and block across as high as your eyes, and stop in a vertical position. So if there was a wall or a hallway, if you were in a hallway, and the hallway was only as wide as your body, the block stops right at the wall of that hallway, right here. Straight out from you, no further. This hand comes down, this hand comes across, left hand comes across, and block. Straight out in front of you. Right hand comes across, and block. Left hand comes across, and block. And right hand comes across, and block. Beautiful. Now hands to your side. Those are your five basic blocks. Let's do star block though, just a quick review. Right hand one, that's upward. Two, that's inward. Three, that's outward. Four is your downward. Five is your elbow strike. And then six is your push down. And that push down, remember, the push down is exactly the same thing as the heel palm, but done in this fashion, a downward fashion, to strike someone who's trying to knee strike you possibly. And then left hand and one. So we're up high. Stay low. Two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Excellent. And then both hands one. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Excellent. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Breath, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And Kia. <laughs> nice. Good. And now, the last one of the basics that we're going to be working on today are the five basic kicks, the five of your basic kicks. So let's go to a left picture bow. Good. So the first kick. All of our students at our dojos for the last 35 years have always started with a ball kick with their rear foot. So Danica will open her front door, she'll raise her knee up, she'll kick, and come back in position and close the door. Simple as that. Everybody open the front door, raise your knee up, kick, back in position, and close the door. So watch Danica one more time, she opens the door. This is how you first learn it when you first begin, you just turn the front foot first. And she raised her knee up. In this position, you'll learn wherever you point your knee, your foot's going to go. And your leg has to be bent completely. Right now, if she wants to kick straight out, she just points her knee straight out. If she wanted to kick lower, she just points her knee lower. She just points her knee down. If she wants to kick higher, she just raises it up higher. Wherever that knee points, so kick up high, the foot's going to go. If she points it straight out, the foot's going to go there. If she points down, the foot's going to go there. So where she wants to kick the knee, the groin, and the chin, it'll go there wherever the knee points. But right now, she has it straight out, she kicks, and goes back to position, ready? Everybody, open the door, raise your knee up, kick, and go back. That's it. And again, open the door, raise your knee up, kick, and go back. Ready, and ball kick, that's it, and ball kick, yes, and ball kick, and ball kick. And jump up and switch. Good. So now let's do the same kick, a ball kick, but let's kick with the front foot instead. So 
So we're going to slide. And watch the Anakin for right now. She slides back to her cat stance. So her hips turn straight ahead like we worked on before in the cat stance. Her back is still on the 45. But the hips have to be pointing straight to get that kick maximum power. She raises her knee up and she kicks. Guard up. Everyone, maintain hands up, heels out, knees out. So everyone, cat back. Perfect cat stance, hips straight ahead. Snap out a kick and come back to position. Cat stance, raise the knee up, snap out a kick, come back to position. Ready, cat stance, kick. Boom, hips straight ahead, hips straight ahead as well. Focus on the opponent and cat stance, kick. Nice, jump up and switch. Good strong stance, good strong stance. Cat stance. And kick. And back to position. Look straight ahead. Cast hands. Kick. And straight ahead. Jump up switch. And now we're going to kick with a different part of the foot. So instead of kicking with the ball of the foot, so if Danica does her first, her uh, in place ball kick, she slides back to the cast hands. Put your ball kick right here. So see, she's kicking with the ball of her foot. Can you see that? Yeah. So the ball of her foot is hitting me in the ribs. Not her heel, the ball. Her foot's pointed, but her toes are curled back. Now, by these stands, now she's going to do a drag up, side kick, back up a little bit, Danica. So from this position, she drags her back foot up to her front foot and turns her feet totally sideways, her shoulder and hip sideways. She raises her knee up, and it has to be in that position. She doesn't lean over until her leg extends. That's how she gets maximum power. She puts her heel here, boom. So now you can see the bottom of the heel is what's hitting. Her ball and her toes are over there. The heel is what's hitting. Her leg is straight. She's leaning away from the kick. And then she retracts it. Back down. And back to position. Dana can do one quick. Boom. Drag up side kick. Everybody, drag up. Toes pointing on the 40, uh, 90 degree angle. So feet, hips, and shoulders on the 90. Looking towards your opponent. Raise your knee up kick. Back to position. Drag up side kick. That's it. Drag up side kick. Good. Drag your side kick. Nice. Switch. Ready. Drag up. Turn your feet sideways. Totally sideways, everybody. Hips sideways. Shoulder sideways. Feet sideways. Raise the knee up. Kick. Boom. All right back position. Drag your side kick. Nice. Drag your side kick. Good. Drag your side kick. Snap it out. Drag your side kick. Excellent. And now. From that position, let's do a roundhouse kick. Danica, do your step to roundhouse. And back to position. Okay? And everyone switch. And Darren, uh, if you get a close up on this one. So, uh, uh, Emmy, do a in place roundhouse. Just lean back and put your foot out in the air. Roundhouse kick. Stay. So, this is how you want the foot to be on a roundhouse kick. So, before, we kicked with the ball of the foot on the ball kick. Then we kicked with the heel of the foot. But now we kick with the top of the foot, and the foot has to be in this configuration. So when her foot hits the target, it's the top of the foot hitting. That's where you have to be. And then she retracts it, and then back to position. Ready? We're not going to kick with the front foot, though. Let's do that kick, but with the back foot. So jump up a switch. So when you do the kick with the back foot, it's called a step through. This is a step through roundhouse kick. So let me do yours. Boom. And back, and Danica, good, so you can see some of these students can kick awfully high, which is <laughs> nice, good. Everyone for right now, kick whatever height you want, but do a step through roundhouse kick, land, and then come back to position. Step through roundhouse kick, land, and now let's go back. Step through roundhouse kick, land, and come back. Step through roundhouse kick, land, and come back. Jump up the switch, let's see on this side now. Step through roundhouse kick, and land, and come back. Step the roundhouse kick, land, and come back. Step the roundhouse kick, land, and then come back. Jump on the switch. And now let's see an in-place back kick. In-place means you take the foot that's closer to the opponent, move it away from the opponent, and then strike the opponent. So we're going to assume I'm the bad guy. Hard to imagine. But she takes her back foot, slides it away from the bad guy. So now she has distance to strike. And she'll put a back kick here. Boom. So from this position, you see she's kicking, and her foot is straight up and down, vertical. It's not sideways where she would turn her hips. That's a side kick, which you can do behind you, but that would be a side kick behind you. 
This is a back kick. Her hips are pointing down and away. Gives you a little more power and you protect it a little bit more. Foot straight up and down, hitting with the heel primarily, primarily with the heel. Then she retracts it and back to position. So we're close again. She drags away, does her kick, boom, and back to position. Ready? Here we go. Everyone, drag away from the opponent. And remember, you get your hands up in protective position. In tempo, we always try to have both our hands between us and the opponent at all times. So this hand is here, this hand is here. Because if I'm behind him, this is the best he can do with two hands since he's facing away from you. But do something, have something. So for instance, if I'm trying to punch here, he's got a hand up there to maybe protect something here. And then back kick, and then back to position. Ready? Drag your foot up, look over your shoulder, hands in position, back kick. Nice, good kick. And back to position, ready? And back kick. Yeah, good strong body stance. And now let's see those kicks uh, separately. Ready? We're gonna do the ball kick with the rear foot, return to position. Ball kick. This is review what we've already done. Ball kick. Ball kick. Switch. Ball kick. Ball kick. Ball kick. And from there, let's see cat stance ball kick. Go back to cat stance kick. And back. Cat stance kick. And back. These are ball kicks. Cat stance ball kick. And back. Cat stance ball kick. And back. Switch. Follow along, everybody. Everyone watching, follow along with these guys. Cat stands, kick, and back. Cat stands, kick, and back. Cat stands, kick, and back. Ready, switch. Drag up, side kick. Guard up, stay low, heels out, knees out, back straight. Drag up, side kick, and return. Nice. Drag up, side kick, good kicks. Drag up, side kick, yes. Drag up, side kick, good. Switch. Drag up side kick. Yes. Drag up side kick. That's it. Drag up side kick. Good. Drag up side kick. Excellent. And let's see. Uh, push drag in reverse. Back up a little bit. Everyone back up a little bit. And now, step through roundhouse kicks. Everybody step through roundhouse. And back. Step through roundhouse. And back. And now, I want you to do a step through roundhouse. And stay there. Step through roundhouse. Stay there. Don't land. Oh. <laughs> That's even harder. <laughs> and get you ready. And cover. Step through roundhouse. And stay there. Step through roundhouse. Cover. Step through roundhouse. Step through roundhouse. And switch. And now let's see your in place back. Keep everyone uh, shuffle back a little bit. Ready? Remember the bad guy is right behind you. Slide your back foot away from the bad guy. And now back kick. Boom, right back in position. And same thing, in place back kick. Boom. Yeah, same place back kick. Just like that. Here we go. Now fast. In place back kick. Yeah, switch. Same thing, some speed now. In place back kick. Bang. In place back kick. Yes. In place back kick. Yeah. All right, those are your basic kicks. And horse stance, horse stance. And deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Breath, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And kick. Good. Now let's do some combinations of all these things. Some combinations. Follow along at home as best you can. We won't be doing these real fast, but definitely try to follow along. Show me a left your bow. Good. I want to see step through blocks real fast. Just step through blocks. So whatever block I say, step forward and do the block. So you're combining a foot maneuver called a step through and a block. Step through downward block and cover. Step through upper block. Again, upper block. Again, upper block. Cover. Listen, downward block. So you're also adding in your cover with your back maneuver. And every time you cover at home, try to key as you cover with your back knuckle. Step through downward block. Now, after you do your block, do a punch. So you can do step through block, punch. Step through block, punch. Downward block. Boom. Cover the key on. Yes. And inward block. Block, punch. Inward block. Inward block. Cover. And now. Do a step through block, do the punch, then add your ball kick. So Dan, if I said downward block, show us. Mm -hmm. 
So I want everyone to do the step through though. So step through downward block, and then punch, and then snapping ball kick. Uh-huh. Ready? Same thing. Step in. Downward block, punch, ball kick. And cover. Same thing. Go. Downward punch, ball kick. Uh-huh. And cover. And switch. Good. So now from this position, from this position, let's do your money technique. Your money technique. So Vince, do the money. Boom. And back. So what he's doing, he's doing a step through roundhouse kick. Boom. He lands with the back angle to the head and then a punch to the ribs. Okay? So do a little quicker on me and go. Oh. Nice. Ready? So they're oh, kicking and then back angle and then punching. And again, Vince, go. And boom. Nice. And everybody, money. Yes, with those key eyes and money. Get hit! Nice, ready and money. Get hit! Good, cover. Uh huh. Now we always want to cover with key eyes. Cover. Hit! Jump up and switch. Cover. Hit! Listen, money. Hit! So this is the money technique, which is a step through roundhouse kick with a back knuckle, then a punch. Money. Cover. Yeah. Ready? Money. Yeah. Yes, money. Yeah. Good. And switch. Good. Now another combination that we do a lot in classes is a back knuckle punch, ball kick, roundhouse kick. Because it gives each one of your limbs something to do in that sequence. So watch Dan, it's just a back knuckle, and then a punch, and then a snappy ball kick. And then in place, roundhouse kick. So the roundhouse kick is unlike the one we did before, which was a step through. This now is called the in place roundhouse kick. And watch her one more time. She has a back knuckle, then a punch, then a kick, and then in place roundhouse. Everybody, on my count, back knuckle, punch, ball kick, in place roundhouse. And now I'll just call them off by numbers. One, two, three, four. And cover. Ready? One. That's a back knuckle. Two. Three. Four. Same exact thing. One, two, three, four. Now a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. That's it. That's it. Good strong stance. One, two, three, four. Yes. Cover. And switch. One, two, three, four. Good. And if you're feeling a little more adventurous, you can do the last two kicks as a chicken kick, Danica. One, two, three, four. Good. And if you guys do chicken or not, doesn't matter. But at home, if you think you can, do a chicken, chicken kick style. Do that again, Danica. She goes one, two, then jumps as she does three, four. Everybody, one, two, three, four. That's it. Yes, yes. One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four. Good. Jump up and switch. And one, two, three, four. Nice. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Good. And horse stance. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Right. Inhale. And exhale. Good. So now, on the let's. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of pretty much everything you guys just did. Then let's finish, finish it with some strength exercises. So, let's run through our stances. So you at home, follow along now. We're going to go a little quicker now, but now that you've done it a couple few times earlier in the class, now you should be able to follow along a little bit quicker. Ready? Take stance. Horse stance. Left neutral bow. Forward bow. Neutral bow. Cat stance. Neutral bow. Switch. Cover. Step through. Step through. Listen. Drag step. Cover. Drag step. Switch. Drag step. Step drag. Step drag. Cover. Drag step. Drag step. Step drag, step drag, cover, switch, snappy ball kick with the rear foot, ball kick, hit, ball kick, hit, ball kick, hit, ball kick, hit, strong balance, drag up side kick to return position.
position. Drag your side kick. Right back in position. Drag your side kick. Everyone follow along with us. Drag your side kick. Switch. Drag your side kick. Drag your side kick. Drag your side kick. Pick it up. Drag your side kick. Switch. Cover. Step through roundhouse. Stay. Step through roundhouse. Cover. Step through roundhouse. Step through roundhouse. Step through roundhouse. Switch. In place roundhouse. In place roundhouse. In place roundhouse. In place roundhouse. Snap it out. In place roundhouse. Switch. In place roundhouse. In place roundhouse. And horse dance. Inward blocks, right? Left. Right. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. And left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Upward blocks, right? Left. Right. Left. Downward blocks, right? Left. Right. Left. Vertical outward blocks, right? Mm hmm. So it stops right here in front of you. Stops right here in front of you. And left. These are called vertical outward blocks. And right. And left. Now let's see extended outward blocks, right? And left. And right. And left. And downward blocks, right? And left. And right. And left. And right, and left, and right, and left, and left neutral bow. And money technique, money technique. Vince, and back, ready, everybody, money. Try to get the five and then 
super set like that. Five, hold it, five, and then kneel down. Rest about 30 seconds to a minute at most. Five, hold it, five, and rest. Do, Johnny was saying doing four sets, do four sets. Today we just do three. Good, now let's go to the plank. This next position works the core. So go on your forearms, fist together, and plank it. Now, technically, you're supposed to hold this for a minute. We're going to do this first one for 30 seconds. Kids at home, or anybody doing this at home, some of you parents, don't cheat. 30 seconds. Now, if anybody's been in any of my classes over the years, you know 30 tempo seconds isn't the same as 30 regular seconds. It somehow seems longer. Hold it. Doing 30 tempo seconds. Hold it. Tighten up those abdominals and your lower back. Okay, kneeling position, kneeling position. We're going to do two more. We will just do two more 30 seconds. Normally, try to do this for a minute. Here we go, plank it out. And 30 seconds, go. So hold it there, keep your body straight. Yeah, knees are not touching the ground. Mm -hmm. Body perfectly straight. When you're working that core, you're working those stomach muscles, think about the stomach muscles, tighten them up. Don't just think about, oh, this is difficult. I don't know if I can hold it any longer. I hope Mr. Hawkins is impressed with me. <laughs> hold it there, hold it there. Don't cheat. And then back. Good. Now this next one, we're going to add a little one thing, because I know you're all wanting to add one more thing to this, I can tell. And you at home, I'm sure you want to do more. You wish you could do these all day with us, but so we're going to do this, and they're going to lift their elbow up in the air and turn to the side for a minute, come down, lift their other elbow up to the air, and we'll do this for about an hour. Ready? Just kidding. So about 30 seconds. So we're planking it. You're in the plank, you're in the plank, you're in the plank. Hold the plank. Raise your right elbow up to the ceiling like someone's hovering right above you, and you're striking them, boom, with an elbow strike. Hold it there, though. Hold it there. And down, knees do not touch the ground, left elbow up, like your elbow striking someone hovering right above you, boom, and hit with an elbow. And back, hold that plank, hold that plank. And up, all the way up, all the way up, take that out. Uh, you guys have plank sore, soreness tomorrow, you will be all planked out. Alright, so now we're going to horse dance. Now, for this one, for this first set, I want everyone to have their hands straight out doing two thrusting heel palms. Now, we're working the legs. Ready? So, Dad can show us, squat down and come up. That's all we're doing. And we're going to do 20 of those. Ready? On my count. One, two, three, four. Good. Five. Hit it. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, come on, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, arms straight, 18, 19, 20, shake it out, shake it out, now you could easily be doing 50 or 100 of these, but do 20 at least, 50 is a lot better, 20 at least, you'll be doing 4 sets of these, we're going to do 3 sets of these today, you're going to be doing 4 sets of these at least at home. Ready? And now, when you, cross, when you do it this time, put your hands out this time and fist, but keep your arms out, working your shoulder muscles at the same time you're doing your squats. And squat position, arms out strong. Could be worse, you could be holding buckets of sand, but you're not. It's just your arm. Well, we hold it out, we hold it out. And one, two, come on, three, four, five, Six, come on, seven, eight, very good, nine, ten, eleven, straight, twelve, straight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, strong, nineteen, twenty, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Ah, I know, doesn't it feel great? Good, shake it out, shake it out. Ah, come on, legs, kick it out. Last time now, last time. Now normally, in class, 
last we'll be doing this with uh, kicks, so let's do that. So, ready? This time, you can put your hands on your side. We're doing 20, but we're doing squat ball kicks. So watch Danica, she would love to demonstrate. She squats, and comes up with a ball kick. So she squats, and does her right, and she squats, does her left, and does her right, and does her left. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Hands on her side. So keep your hand on your side. We're gonna do 20. And one, two, three, come on. Four, five, stay with us. Six, seven, here we go. Eight, almost there. Nine, good. Ten, good. Eleven, good. Twelve, hit it. Thirteen, hit it. Fourteen, almost there. Fifteen, come on. Sixteen, come on. Seventeen, good. Eighteen, good. Nineteen, yes. Twenty, and relax it, relax it, relax it, relax it. All right, good. And you guys, ten stands? And horse stands? All right, good. So, work on these things. So, we plan on doing possibly one, another class like this in the middle of the week, next week, in a few days, and certainly another one next Saturday, right, depending on what the conditions are in our towns and state and country with the virus situation. But nevertheless, um, look for us in the middle of the week, watch your emails, and see, see when we're posting this up. But we'll be doing a, another class. So possibly middle of the week, definitely by next Saturday though, 10 a.m. again, we'll do this again and work on some more different material. Okay, but work on this stuff until you see our next video and beyond, but work on this. The strength and conditioning that we did at the beginning and at the end, then all the Kempo moves in the middle. All right, very good. And attention, hey. Okay. 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 Okay.